months ago, the Korea Aerospace Industries marketed both the idea of upgrading the existing F-A-50s serving the Philippine Air Force, adding a squadron or two of F-A-50s, and of course the KF-21 Boramay advanced fighter aircraft. It is not surprising for the Korean aerospace firm to market this jet since the Philippine Air Force is a traditional customer for its F-A-50S. In this topic, we discuss the details of its capabilities as marketed by the South Koreans, along with its specifications and performance compared to the F-A-50s currently serving the country's air service branch. This is the case for the Philippines when the representatives of Korea Aerospace Industries pitched their marketing during a Philippine Air Force event several months ago within the year 2023, whereby they pushed the KF-21 Boramay aircraft alongside the idea of upgrading the existing FA-50PH to the Block 20 variant and eventually adding at least two more squadrons or 24 more units of FA-50s for the Philippine Air Force. Apparently, the Philippine Air Force already monitors any type of development updates regarding the KF-21 Boramay Advanced Multirole Fighter Aircraft, signifying intentions that the said aircraft currently under development is within the sight of the Air Service Branch's key planners and has the prospects of pursuing the aircraft upon the maturity of the platform. This means that once production starts and the likes of South Korea started operating the aircraft, it gives viability for the planners to further consider it. With the presentation and the interest provided in the table of prospects in having such type of advanced multirole fighter aircraft in the next 5, 5, to 10, 10, years down the road, the KF-21 Boramay presented an opportunity for both Korea Aerospace Industries as a seller and the Philippine Air Force as a potential and not final buyer to get a capable fighter that secures the country's airspace further, while expanding the South Korean company's market share in fighter aircraft sales in the region. The KF-21 Boramay Advanced Multirole Fighter Aircraft still comes at the development phase, whereby Korea Aerospace Industries or KAI still takes multiple test flights, minor design modifications, and securing certifications prior to having the design put into mass production by the aerospace company. So far, there are six, six prototypes of the aircraft produced to make the tests possible. Going further back, the KF-21 Boramay is a product conceptualized from the South Korea's first indigenously developed multirole fighter aircraft with sophisticated technologies, whereby the formalities in its development took place in the year 2015 when the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration or DAPA signed with Korea Aerospace Industries or CHI for the development of this sophisticated aircraft. It comes after the U.S. approval of technological transfer used in F-35 fighter. During that time, when the formalities signed between DAPA and CHI regarding the development of the potassium fluoride X fighter aircraft, the Philippine Air Force received its first pair of FA-50PH lead in fighter trainer jets from the said South Korean aerospace manufacturer, whereby the delivery phase took three years until it became completed in the year 2017. These lead-in fighter trainer jets of the Philippine Air Force served as the foundation for the South Korean aerospace company to pitch its products later on. The first prototype for the potassium fluoride X, of which it eventually became the KF-21 Boramay, unveiled on April 9, 2021 in Korea Aerospace Industries headquarters in Seichen, of which the former South Korean President Moon Jae-in said in his speech that South Korea opened a new era of self-defense and established a historic milestone for the development of the aviation industry. This makes sense as this serves as the country's first indigenously developed and produced advanced supersonic multirole fighter jet. KF-21 Boramai's unveiling of its first prototype succeedingly followed by its first maiden flight, whereby it took place in July 2022, with the jet's first supersonic flight taking place in January 2023. The progress shown signals the entry of South Korea into a small club of countries that produces supersonic aircraft, whereby marketing it to other countries like the Philippines will expand its prospective market for this segment, while presenting the benefits of the aircraft's capabilities for the end-users to use in implementing their air defense identification zones. 
it is from this period on that other countries, including the Philippines, show its interest in the capabilities that the KF-21 advanced multirole fighter jet brings, although it remains to see regarding the details as there are still improvements getting introduced as its development still comes as ongoing, and with finalizations getting done before the mass production of the aircraft starts, primarily catering the prospective users like the South Korean Air Force. Even though Korea Aerospace Industries markets it heavily as the additional F-A-50s for the Philippine Air Force, it remains to see whether the advanced fighter aircraft comes preferably to get on five years down the road, as the people in the Defense Department closely monitors the development of the fighter aircraft. This is especially coming in the period that the government prioritizes more on external defense, being its primary highlight for Horizon 3 project implementation.